Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Well, today, guys, if you clicked on this video, you know that we are going to be looking at the Transformers Collectors Club version of Punch and Counter Punch, along with his fellow mold mates, Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. So, if we go ahead and we're going to start off with Sunstreaker here. Now, he has just got your average, you know, run of the mill yellow paint job along with his brother here has the red so you see there's really nothing special about these paint jobs and the reason I bring that up is when we look at counter punch here you notice he's got a little bit of a sparkly paint job as compared to sideswipe or sunstreaker and I mean it, it goes over his the entire course of his body and I mean I just I, I love just a little bit of a touch now it is to be expected with this being a you know exclusive figure but also, I want you to take note of something else, is if we compare the air intake on these guys, uh, if you notice, Sideswipes are painted silver, and if you look at Sunstrikers, they're just the gray molded plastic. But if you look over here, what they've done is they've just painted the interiors of the air intake silver, and then the rest of it's black. Now, the back parts from here back on all three of these guys are, are the same. Now, if you can kind of you can kind of see the difference in the paint jobs here, because Sunstreaker is one that mostly he's just there's nothing really going on on the sides. He's just plain Jane. Well, we look at Sideswipe. He's all of a sudden got this little bit of a detail on the side, which you know I'm cool helps differentiate him. But then again, we get over here to Punch Counter Punch, and see he's got the dual stripes that go back into the molding. So all three of these guys. So if you look at their tail, all three of their um, license plates say something different. So for Sunstreaker here, we have one that says "We are 84." Then this one is just swipe for side swipe, and then this one is really kind of I think probably my favorite because it's it stands for punch counter punch. So I was like, okay, that's kind of clever. Plus, again, with it, you know, it's cool that all these guys have their tail lights. But, you know, with Side Stripe and, and Sunstreaker, aside from the tail lights, it's just that solid, you know, either black or, or kind of grayish brown plastic, uh, you know, paint. Whereas this guy, he has the mix of the silvers and the greens and the purples, which, you know, I love how it looks. Uh, he actually has this rub sign on top. But up here, I feel like it's just the old fashioned heat rub symbols that you can see right there on top, that's the Decepticon one. And this becomes just one of his robot mode's chest. So when we get to robot mode, you'll start seeing more of the differences. So speaking of that, what we will go ahead and do is we will go ahead and we will put all three of these guys in their robot modes. Alrighty, everybody. So here is Counter Punch, the Decepticon counterpart to Punch. And you can see that uh, for being a Decepticon, he is sporting the mostly dark colors like they always do. We'll go ahead and compare with the Sunstreaker version here. I mean, it's just, it makes such an excellent use for Counter Punch. Now the one difference is the mechanism, because you turn this whole section around on these guys to have the heads pop up, and you do it for side swipe also, but the mechanism for this one is just slightly off. And so, usually his big robot apron here, or his chest will sit just just a tad off but I found out that you can actually turn it and force it to actually sit straight up and down but if you do tap it it will it has a tension to, to I don't know it's something with the mechanism I've seen other reviews where they talk about how it's kind of messed up a little bit and it may be due to the fact that this mold has been reused like 20 times before they made uh, counter punch but by himself, I really love the difference. You can see that here is the standard uh, stock weapon that comes with them. And basically all they've done is they've taken the air intake and wrapped it around the gun for counter punch here. But, I mean, um, it's I, I really like it. I think his legs look 
look really good in this mode. Now I have trouble, they say for counter punch his arm guards are supposed to be up on the sides, but they do like to slide back just because again this mold has been used like a hundred times. Well, that's exaggerating, but it's been used a lot before they used it for counter punch here. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, I love the the detailing on the head with the red eyes and everything. And again, here's here's the rub symbol for his chest if we can get it to uh, kind of, ah, there we go. But yeah, uh, I think I like it better than his Autobot uh, robot mode. But speaking of that, let's go ahead and let's take a look at that real quickly. Alrighty, everybody, here is Punch in robot mode. Now you may be noticing a couple different things. One might be his robot arm, the other that I'm having to hold him up. There's a reason for that. I'm going to show you the robot arm. So if you notice the detailing on this fist, you notice you could, it's normal standard fist, its orientation is correct. Well, basically what you've done to transform him from counter punch is basically you can see here's, here's the robot mode. All you've had to do is really the head deal flips back to cover this robot mode head and you flip him around. Now the issue that causes is with the fist because in counter punch mode, you'll notice the fists are reversed. So whenever he was like this, his fists are reversed for counter punch. But when you flip him around to be his actual self, the fists are now in the correct orientation. So you can swap the fist if you want, depending upon which robot mode you want to display him in more, but that is the issue. Now, the bigger issue for me is the fact that he cannot actually stand up. And that's due to the fact that where these feet are positioned, because you notice on these guys, it's this, it's this side of the leg and that gives enough clearance for the foot to where it can balance itself a little bit more. But when you see it's turned like this, all the weight is wanting to descend back and the feet can't extend far enough forward. Now I've seen people actually turn his legs, you know, in different ways and, and where he can stand. But to me that made the robot mode leg just a little too big. So what I've done is I've kind of taken some, this is just kind of just rough engineering here. I've taken some cardboard and when, I'm going to paint these black so that if I choose to display them in this robot mode and basically all they do is they just slide up behind this little tab right here and underneath the kneecaps where they slide up and in there and I made them a little bit taller than the actual heels. You can see they extend past the feet and the reason that does that is that forces him to actually have heel supports and where he can rest on the front part of his feet. And now his robot mode can stand up unassisted. If you notice, we've actually flipped the gun around because the original toy for Punch actually had a double barreled gun. Now, since we go ahead and have him here, we'll go ahead and compare him with uh, Sideswipe, which Sideswipe, the cool reuse of the air intake is now it actually gives him his jet pack, which I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging that so much. And I love how the gun can actually be plugged into his shoulder to give him his shoulder mounted rocket launcher. Now, you know, while I like uh, Punch's vehicle mode a little bit better, I have to say I think out of all three of all three of these guys right here, my absolute favorite is probably Sideswipe. But you can see now they've predominantly given him an Autobot symbol uh, right there on his chest, which if we look at Counter Punch. Oh my goodness, it's another rub symbol. I wonder what this one could actually show. It's obviously the Autobot symbol. So, uh, basically I think one thing that Hasbro has definitely proved with this mold is that by them being able to get two distinct robot modes out of it, it was kind of the genesis or it laid the groundwork for them that ultimately where they could make punch, counter punch. It's, it's a fun mold whether you're, you know, going for all three of these guys or just the brothers or, or whatever. Other than that guys, this has been the review of the Transformers Collectors Club's Punch Counter Punch and the Autobot Brothers Side Swipe and Sunstreaker. And until next time guys, we'll see you in another review.